I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. For American Mahjong, that means building around multiples or the predominant pattern. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. We have a joker, a north, a white dragon, one, three, seven, nine in bams, two, four, five in cracks, four, five, nine in dots with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the fours. That's a multiple. That's where I would start. Then I would look at the rest of the tiles and gather as many as I can and play a ca category that will use those tiles supporting the four. We do have two, four, but no six, eight. We have one, three, two, four, five with the fours. That is going to use most of our tiles. All those tiles can be used with a pair of four dots. We might even be able to use the dragon and maybe even the north, but we have seven bam, nine bam, nine dot. I would not pass like numbers. I think what I would do is pass seven, nine, and then the north. That way we can keep that dragon and just build around either one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five in mixed suits. And I wouldn't pick a hand, not till we run out of discards. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. Jokers, east and west, two, five, seven in cracks, five, bam, three, five, seven, nine in dots, all singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the predominant pattern since we have no multiples. And I see big odds in here. So we have five, seven, five, seven, nine. And then here we have tiles we can pass. So the predominant pattern is big odds. Here I'd probably pass two, three, west. And I wouldn't pick a hand. One thing we could maybe do is play like numbers if we build up a multiple with either fives or sevens. So I would consider like numbers depending on how things go in the next phase of the game, which is the Charleston. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do with these tiles. The other thing I was thinking is if we get sixes, we could switch to consecutive run, five, six, seven, but that's a gap. So I would I would not focus on that. I would focus on big odds. If sixes come in, switch to consecutive run. It's way more flexible.
Joker Flower North. Two, three, four, six, eight in dots with a pair of fours and a pair of eights. In cracks, we have an eight, nine, and then in bands, four, six singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play evens. And there's a pass. We have all evens here. I wouldn't pick a hand, but this is the predominant pattern here. One suit, maybe with flowers, the very first hand. But I wouldn't pick a hand. I would gather till we run out of discards and then whittle down. But more likely than not, we're going to play a one suit hand here. Either the first hand or maybe the one with dragons if we get a white dragon. There's another hand in here though. Two, four, four, six, eight. So there's a hand right there. No gaps, but we'd have to throw away a multiple. I'd rather use the multiple right here. Two multiples in there. An American Mahjong is a game of multiples. So we would optimize our potential to complete this hand quicker than we would with the singles. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do in the comment section below. American Mahjong is a game of multiples. There are singles and pairs throughout the card, but 86% of the hands use pairs, pungs, and kongs. So when you get your dealt hand, look for multiples, gather tiles to support the multiples and play a category that uses most of your tiles. If you don't have multiples, look for the predominant pattern, which will be a category on the card. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.